Hey guys, it's your girl Tiara. I am currently editing this video and I realized there's no intro. So, welcome back to my channel for another Tiara Tuesday. So, if you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a vlog. It's going to be part one of my trip to Vegas. I took a trip to Las Vegas for my 25th birthday and I decided to vlog that whole weekend and take you on that journey with me of self-discovery, self-love, adventures, and stuff like that because when I booked the trip, I didn't know if anybody could come or join me on the trip, but I wanted to do something for myself. I wanted to give myself a birthday and do things I've always wanted to do because this is my first birthday where I am single and alone and the first time in like years. And I've always wanted to travel and go on amazing adventures and I always felt like I needed other people to do that. So. I finally am in a place where I'm learning that I can do stuff with myself, do stuff by myself, and not wait on anyone to feel like I can do it. Yeah, so I wanted to take you guys on that journey. I hope you like this video. I hope um, you find it entertaining. It's not going to be like a crazy, like wild Vegas story if that's what you're looking for, but it is going to be fun and yeah it's me <laughs> um of course i wanted to party more but i was alone I, most of the time and um the days i was with my friend she doesn't drink and we still find ways to have fun without doing that so yes <laughs> long story short i hope you enjoy this video if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up at the end and stay tuned for part two coming out on thursday so let's get into part one of my trip to Vegas. Okay guys, so I'm in Vegas now. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey guys, it's your girl Tiara. I made it to Vegas. I'm here with my friend Diamond. Um, we're about to go to Red Rock Canyon and kind of go hiking and exploring in the mountains. I'll try to vlog as much as that as possible. It's nice and sunny here. Let me flip the camera so you can see what it looks like. Um, Trump Tower. Oh yeah. Boo! Um, but we're staying at Treasure Island Hotel, but this is, it's nice and sunny out. So yeah, we are on our way to go hiking. How do you feel, Diamond? Good. We're excited. Um, don't mind me. I'm gonna put my wig on later, but not when I'm hiking. <laughs> All right, guys, check back in when we get to Red Rock Canyon. Bye!
right guys, so we made it to Red Rock Canyon, but there's like different trails within Red Rock Canyon. So we're going to be doing the, what's it called? First Creek. First Creek Trail, which is over here. Apparently there's a waterfall. I don't know if there's a waterfall or not. <laughs> They said that there was a waterfall, but I really don't know if there's a waterfall, but we will find out. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get lost or attacked by, what did your sister, speak that? what did your sister yeah, say was out that. here? Diamond sister said we should have had beer Desert made. Lion. Desert lion. I don't even think that's a thing. <laughs> or mountain lion. Oh, well, I guess we'll just see. But yeah, I'm probably going to not bring the camera just for safety reasons. I'll just vlog some stuff on my phone. But I wanted to check in with you guys before I got out the car. Um, but I will check in when we're done and I'll try to shoot some footage while we're on the hike as well. But we're about to go. trail is nice. It's less like hiking like up level but more of like a walking trail that's really beautiful with nature. Look at the cactuses. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> I'm in the desert. Frolicking in the desert. Stop for a <laughs> right, it's really <laughs> rocky. We we gotta be careful because we might roll our ankles, and then we're gonna be trapped out here, and then no one's gonna save us. Oh my god! Because there's no one here. Why did this turn into a horror movie? Listen, we black, okay? We black in the desert. That is not a That's good not combination. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we gotta be careful. As much as black people <laughs> don't like humidity, they love staying in. Oh, I love the sun. I'm pale. <laughs> I don't think I can swear on YouTube, but I'm pale. Just do the beat. Oh yeah, I've been doing that a lot lately. I saw that. <laughs> I swear too much. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just finished our hike. We're about to head back. Hike. Yeah, it was. It was really beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Just like the scenery and everything and like the nature. There's a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Like, and there look was at those mountains. Yeah. We didn't even get to make it to the mountain because we wanted to make it on time to dinner and have time to change and stuff. But I think I'm gonna have to come back out here and visit Diamond so we can go hiking work. <laughs> I wanna get to that mountain. Yes, I wanna be able to Even I want my holes extreme. moment. I kept saying like I feel like Stanley Yale Nats from holes. What if these were the mount no, I don't think we gotta look the for the thumb. See that it looks like the But um it was nice. It was really nice. And the weather was perfect. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't cold, like there was it was warm with a nice breeze. Yes. So we were really comfortable. I'm a little listening. Hopefully I can get a tan. I've been pale from the winter to not. Listen, I have vitamin D deficiency. The doctor told me. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was normal that I just got pale in the winter time, but no. I got a vitamin D deficiency. So, people, so like that goes for everybody, people who get pale in the winter. I don't know. They all have vitamin D deficiency. I don't I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know you could have vitamin D deficiency. It I, comes from the sun. Yeah. But I think you can take like vitamin D as a vitamin. You can. But I think so. I got this vitamin D deficiency from the sun and from men. That makes you tired? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I'm single. Oh I hate my myself. Gosh. <laughs> that took me a second to get. <laughs> See, I wish we would have got a picture from here. Oh, come on, focus. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I'm so happy. It was a nice change from being in tw like 20 degree weather and snow. But we're gonna go back to the hotel and get changed. And then we're going to Bahama Breeze for dinner. Happy hour. Um, happy hour. But just for 
the half off apps because Diamond can't drink. But that's okay. Thanks to my spastic brain. That's no longer spastic. Let's hope and pray that it stays that way. Yes. So then you can drink again. I don't know if I'm gonna go back. That's okay. You don't need to. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go drive back to the hotel. I'll check back in when we get to Bahama Breeze. We are back from Bahama Breeze. I definitely didn't check in before we left. Um, but me and Diamond are old ladies. Like, I'm already in my pajamas and it's only 7.30. <laughs> um, it but feels a lot later. It does. We're really full from dinner. We're going to lay down. And if we have energy to get back up, we will. But right now, I think we're just going to rest. I mean, it is day one and I was flying all day. Um, and we went hiking which that's is a, a lot day. yeah it's a full day we were driving around a lot too um but yeah we're gonna lay down rest for a little bit and i will check back in if we decide to do anything and take you along for that journey if not i will see you in the morning okay tomorrow we're going zip lining right yep should we go on the ride in the stratosphere too uh, i'm not getting on that I might convince her to get on it. Anyways, <laughs> tomorrow we're gonna go zip lighting. That's gonna be super fun. And we're probably gonna walk the strip, so I'll take you along for that ride. But for now, I'm gonna go rest because your girl is tired. Okay, bye guys. Good morning, guys. It is now Saturday the 13th, one day before the big 25. So Diamond had to go to work, so she's gonna be gone for the beginning of the day so it's just gonna be me so I'm gonna have a morning to myself I just ordered some breakfast off of uber eats so I'm waiting for that to come I'm gonna go run down to CVS and pick up some things that I need um, and then I think I'm gonna walk the strip a little bit just kind of explore we're gonna go zip lining at night at the uh, Fremont Street area um, at Slotzilla and <laughs> we were gonna do the regular zip line but then Diamond saw that they have like the superhero one where you do full body and you fly down so I think we're going to do that, but we're going to wait to go later at night so we can go when all the lights are out and everything. So it's super cool. When Diamond comes back, we're going to go walk around some more. But I just want to walk around a little bit and look around, maybe take some pictures. I'll get some video of that for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good. I can't believe I turned 25 tomorrow. That's so crazy. <laughs> I also woke up super early today and... I'm kind of happy I did because I can get more of the day and it looks so beautiful outside guys let me just show you what it looks like outside hold on this is the view from the hotel room I should have probably did this yesterday when we got here but I was just so tired and just ready to start the day but this is our view from the hotel room um, you have the wind and the encore over there, uh, the palazzo is right across the street, and the fashion mall is right next door. So I think we're going to explore the fashion mall when Diamond comes, and then the stratosphere is all the way over there. And I really <laughs> am thinking about going to the stratosphere hotel. Here, let me zoom in so you can see a little bit more. So the stratosphere is down there. And I'm thinking about going to the stratosphere and trying the roller coaster on top. Diamond doesn't want to do it, so I think I might just go by myself on Monday. Because that's going to be the only day I'm going to be by myself. But we'll see. So yeah, I'm going to go get breakfast. And then I'm probably going to check back in with you guys when I get the food so I can show you what I got. I got way more than I needed. I'm probably not going to even eat it all. I didn't even finish dinner last night and I still have that leftover in the fridge. <sighs> Oh gosh, I really thought I was going to come on this trip and eat a whole bunch of food, but my stomach is like, no, because it is not used to all this food. Well, anyways, I'm going to go get my food and I'll be back to check in with you guys. Bye. Hey guys, so my food came. I'm getting ready to eat. It took forever to come, but I'm so hungry. I got way more than I needed and I'm definitely seeing that now. I got some 
I got some eggs benedict because I was in the mood for eggs benedict. I also wanted a pancake, so I got a pancake with some hash browns and some fresh fruit so we can be somewhat healthy. Um, so I ordered off of Uber Eats and I ordered from the restaurant called Broken Yolk Cafe. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Broken Yolk Cafe. Um, so I'm going to go try this food out. Hopefully it's good. And then I'll check back in right before I leave because I said I wanted to walk around a bit. It looks really nice outside. So I want to get some exercise, walk around, and see the strip. Okay, guys. So I just finished eating and then I laid down for a little bit. Now I feel like getting ready um, before I go out on the strip. So I'm kind of going to do a speed through get ready with me before I go out on the strip and I'm just going to film that as I do it so you guys can just be along with me as I get ready before I go outside. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go out on the strip and go explore. Oh, it's starting to get gray outside, so I probably won't be out too long, but I will try to get as much footage as I can while I'm out there. Check back in when I'm done. Okay guys, so I went to go walk on the strip and the minute I started walking, it got super windy, like crazy windy that there was stuff flying everywhere and like I couldn't see. I thought it was just, I couldn't even walk. Like it was like strong wind. So I got like five to 10 minutes down the street and then I turned back around to, came, to come back to the hotel because it was too crazy. Like I honestly like couldn't even see. Like I had to like walk like this just to make it back to my hotel i really thought my wig was gonna fly off and that wouldn't have been cute in the middle of the strip so i'm back at the hotel i did try one of the slot machines but gambling's not really for me i don't like losing money i don't know how people can just sit in there all day i don't i don't want to do that i don't want to lose my money so now i'm trying to work up the courage to go sit at a bar by myself because I don't really do that, but 
I need to do something because the cleaning lady keeps trying to clean my room but I'm in here and I feel bad and also my room needs to be cleaned or I need new towels so I'm trying to get out the room and I did my makeup and I look cute so I want to do something so wish me luck guys I'm gonna go try to sit at a bar close by because I can't really walk anywhere I think it's raining now outside so I think we're gonna try to sit at a bar I think there's a margarita bar outside right next to the hotel maybe I'll try that we'll see Okay guys, so I did go to a bar. I went to the margarita bar outside. I just got a drink and then came back to the room. But me and Diamond are about to go zip lining. We're going superhero style. Oh yeah, we're going like where you lay on your stomach. Yeah, like that. All the way out. I'm hoping my wig doesn't fly <laughs> off going down. It's, it's five blocks long. Oh yeah, and it's 11 stories high. It's 11 stories high? Yeah. I thought that's why you wanted to do that one because <laughs> it was higher up. No, I just wanted to do it because we were laying down. Well, we're going zip lining 11 longer. stories high, and it's longer. It's five blocks worth of zip lining. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. It was worth the money. Um, we were going to pay for the video. I wasn't going to pay for the video, so we're going to have a picture, and I'll show you guys the picture, but I'm going to take footage of what it looks like so you can see what it looks like, but you just won't see us doing it because I don't have a GoPro, and that's too much work. But my phones are too expensive for that. Yeah, and I'm not dropping my phone. And we might kill somebody if we drop the phone. Right. Then we'll go to jail Because it goes over people's heads. You'll see when we show you. But we're going to go ahead and go zip lining, and we'll check in with you when we are done. Okay. Bye. Okay guys, we're in the line. It's windy and it's cold. And there's a lot of people in this line, but we already bought our tickets so we have to do it. So um We're going on that zip line. Yeah we are. I hope I can bring my bag. But it's really cold. But there's a lot of people outside. We'll check in after we get on. And let you know how it goes. We just finished dinner too. Well, you so could see me smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we don't throw up. Do not say that that loud. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Hey guys yeah i'm back at the hotel um we ended up going zip lining which is really fun fun fact we waited in that line for like two hours in the freezing cold and it was windy and but we did it we stayed and waited in line our our ticket time was 7 40 but we didn't actually go on until like 10 something so they were really behind but we were like we can either get a refund or just wait in line we were already waiting in line for a while and we're like no let's just do it so we did it and we had a lot of fun i turned 25 well not quote unquote i turned 25 um in the line on the east coast at nine o'clock and then it is now 12.08, so now I'm officially 25 on the West Coast. <sighs> Guys, I can't believe that I am 25. 
I'm a quarter of a century years old and I just wanna I just wanna thank God, honestly. Just thank God that I'm here at this point in my life. It's a new journey that I'm taking on. There's so many changes that have happened in my life and I'm in the process of healing and growing and becoming the person I'm meant to be. Coming into the person who God destined me to be. And this is a very transformative time for me. And what better year than year 25 to go through these changes in life. I joke around and say I'm having a quarter life crisis, which kind of I am, but I feel like everyone goes through this. But this is such a crazy time that I'm living in at age 25 and I have so much more to accomplish in my years of life and I'm just so grateful to have made it to this point because a lot of people don't make it to this point I'm just grateful that I made it to 25 that I lived to see another year I'm blessed and highly favored but I truly am blessed with the friends that I have the good friends that I have the support system that I have the family that I have and for a really long time I've always hated my birthday I mean I still hate my birthday because it's on freaking Valentine's Day it's the worst holiday <laughs> especially when you're alone but this is a really good birthday for me so far this trip has been so fun and just relaxing and calming and just a great time and I'm so thankful for Diamond for being here and spending this time with me because honestly I didn't know if any of my friends were going to be available luckily she lives here now <laughs> but I was planning on doing this trip by myself I wanted to do something for myself and it's just so nice to have a good friend along for the ride who's adventurous and loves food just like me I swear me and Diamond always have the best times together we always go on the best adventures I'm just really thankful I'm really thankful to be at this point in my life. 25 is so scary to me because it, it just hit me that the numbers only go up from here, but it's also really exciting because I have so much more to offer. I'm still so young, but it's just crazy to me. I'm not in my early 20s anymore. I'm in my mid 20s. <laughs> like, like it feels like just yesterday I turned 21. Diamond's actually coming back to the hotel right now because she's locked out of her house. <laughs> so, sorry, she was just texting me. But, like I was saying, there's so much that has changed in my life. It's scary. It's a scary thing to think about, just change and growth and as a whole. But I'm also excited to see what this year has to offer for me because I feel really good about this year. I feel really motivated and positive. I'm working on myself this year, which is really good. And I'm happy that I'm deciding to do that. It's it's tough. It's a tough journey trying to unlearn bad habits and stuff like that and healing and letting stuff go and moving forward. It's so hard. But I'm 25 and I'm just ready to see what this year has to offer me. <sighs> Yeah, and I have a whole YouTube channel. Hopefully I can get monetized this year. Start making some money off of it. Yeah, guys, I... I'm 25. Tomorrow is my actual, like, well, not tomorrow. It's actually tomorrow now. But tomorrow, um, Diamond and I are going to kind of walk around. We didn't get to go to the fashion mall yesterday, so we may go tomorrow during the day because our dinner reservations aren't until 930 because this guy thought she was going to be out partying all day doing what I don't know. So our reservation is not till 930. So we have a long time to just do stuff. Um, I may treat myself to breakfast in the morning. I'm trying to work up the courage to go eat by myself, but I haven't done it yet. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow or Monday because Monday I'll be by myself, but I'm going to get some rest. I'm so tired. It was so cold outside. Like it was freezing with the wind, but I had so much fun. We went to this um, really nice restaurant called Eureka and the host at the front was super nice she was super cool shout out sunday she found out it was my birthday and she sent over ice cream i couldn't eat it because i'm lactose intolerant but it was really sweet that she sent that over to me like and it was just like in passing that we mentioned it 
but yeah guys i'm gonna wait for diamond to get here then i'm gonna go to sleep and then i'll check in with you guys in the morning when i wake up and i'll do another get ready with me when i get ready for my birthday dinner i'm so excited for that because i've been looking forward to this looking forward to wearing my tiara and showing you guys what it looks like <sighs> hopefully it all comes together how i pictured it in my mind i'm praying that it does but until then guys i'm going to sleep and i'll see you tomorrow bye